on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install these Raceline coilovers on a BMW E36. The first thing we need to do is jack up the car. We're going to be working on the front end, so we're jacking up the front. I'm going to jack it up by the center jacking point and put two stands on the side. Let me get that done and I'll get right back to you. The car up in the air, you got to take your wheel off. I already loosened up the lug nuts, so you take your 17, start taking them off. Alright, once you get your wheel off, you can see your shock. So, for the coilovers on this car, up there, you have three bolts, which you get under the hood. And on the bottom here, we have the lines, which attach to the shock right here. Alright, let's see what else we have. And we have a bolt here, on that. And we have a bolt right there. So it doesn't look too bad. A couple bolts, couple nuts, come right off. So there's this third bolt right here that's held on with a nut at the other side. So there's one, two back there, and three here to get the bottom piece of the shock off. I already loosened up these lines, took the brake line off and the sensors off. So I just gotta loosen up this bolt. So this is an 18 millimeter socket, put it on the bolt, have my Harbor Freight breaker bar. I also, what I did was I turned the wheel, that way I have good access to the bolt. When I um, do the other one, I'm going to turn the wheel the other way so I can put the breaker bar going that way up. Alright, so you have your 18 on there, give it a little tug, it loosens right up. Do that a couple times, then I take the ratchet, take it off. Alright, so let me put the camera down, I'll show you guys how I'm doing this. All right, and here we have, we got one of them out, right here. Now I'm gonna do, turn the wheel the other way. Just like that. Go on the other side with my 18. Do the same thing. There it goes, all right got the second one off all right now that I got those two nuts off or two bolts off the only thing that's left as you can see right here it's a bolt with a nut at the end so for this you put a socket on this and then you put an open-ended wrench on the other side so it stops it from spinning. So let me go grab an open-ended wrench. I'll tell you what size it use and I'll be right back. I actually couldn't find an 18 millimeter wrench. So what I did is I got a, a ratchet with an 18 millimeter socket on one end and I have my breaker bar with another 18 millimeter socket on the other end. So what I'm gonna do now, put the camera down. I have this here. And while the ratchet is there holding that, give this a good tug should come loose. Put this back on. Give it a good tug. There it goes. All right. Now that it's out, put the nut on the bolt, like so, and put it to the side. Off, what you want to do, give this thing a good kick. There you go, just like that. Pry it off, so now the shock is detached from the hub. And try not to put too much pressure on your brake line over here, because it can rip. All right, so let's leave this like this for now. 
you got to open the hood and you got to take the, the three nuts off the top of the shock tower. Hood on the strut tower, we have one, two, three bolts. Shouldn't be too hard. Take your 13 millimeter and your ratchet. Give it a tug. Comes right loose. Same with this. Put your ratchet on it. Give it a tug. Comes right loose. All right. So you do that for all three. Loosen them up. And as you loosen these, what's going to happen is the shock's going to come down. Because that's all that's holding it in right now. So as it comes down, you're going to want to grab it from underneath as you're loosening this. All right. This is the last one. So this is the one where you have to hold the shock. this out of the way. Here. Now you go under the car. Pull down. You can bring the camera over here. So once you have it pulled down, it should look something like this. What you want to do breaking any of the lines. It's kind of a mission in of itself. Alright, that's out of the way now. Get this up. Okay. Down it goes. Alright. You pull it out. Move your brake line and your sensors. All right, there you go. One shock is out. So now, what you have to do is you have to repeat this process on the other side of the car. You take the other shock out, and then we're going to put the coilovers in. Let me get back to you when I get the other shock out really quick. The other side out. These are the original shocks and springs, and these are my nice used coilovers. So now, you just have to reverse the process of taking them out and put them back in. So I'm going to put in one side, show you guys how I do it, and the other side is mirror. So I'm going to do the driver's side. I'm going to put the driver's side back in, which is this coilover. So what I like to do is I like to feed it in from the bottom, put the top nuts on, and then go from there with the bottom. So I'm pushing it in. All right, once it goes through the holes, stick that back on. You put the nuts on. Just finger tight. All right, there you go. Now, the coilover is suspended in place. Just finger tight. And you have it down here. So you just line it up how you need to. And we're gonna push it in. So let me tighten these up a little bit up there. And I'm gonna set the camera up and show you guys how I put this back on. Now that that's in place and the top ones are tightened up, you can remove this. Alright, so now keep these wires out of the way as best you can. And alright, so this whole assembly has to be lifted, this whole assembly has to be lifted up to go into the coilover. So I'm going to have my, my nut and bolt ready for when I lift it. Alright, so, but it's a little easier with the jack. Actually, you know what? Let me go get a jack and do this. will make my life a little bit easier. So what I did, I took this jack, put it under the rotor, and I just jacked it up, lined everything up back here, and then what I did was I took the, the bolt, stuck it through so it stays in place, and I put the nut on just loosely. So now, take this jack, lower it, you don't need it anymore, get it out of the way. And also what I did so far, these two back bolts, just threaded them in lightly, just by hand, while the car was, while the rotor was jacked up, that back one too. So now all I have to do, 
tying this up, take two 18s and put an 18 on this, tighten it up. And once that's tight, I can just attach the line and this side's done. It's pretty straightforward. That one's tight too. Fighting me a little bit, but you don't check. That one's tight too. All right. Now we only have this last bolt in the back. Got that tightened up. Put the brake lines and the other connectors where they belong over here, and that's it. You have one coil over in. Didn't take long at all. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other side, put the wheels on, drop the car, and then we have to get to the back. Got the wheels on, both sides, time to drop the car and see how it sits. Hopefully it clears. Oh, that's not good. Take two. I get the jack out. Going, going, going. Alright, it's down. Alright, we're out. Let's see how it's sitting. Nice. Nice and low. The front's pretty good. It's tucking a little bit. Now, gotta get to the back. So time to start jacking up the back. All right, now we got the wheels off. Next step, you have to loosen up the shock so we can get the spring out. So to loosen the shock, we have a bolt right here. And then we have two bolts, two nuts I mean, inside the trunk on the top, which we have to take some of the interior part to get to. Then, the spring should come right out by moving the bucket. So the next step, you get to that bolt that you need an 18 millimeter ratchet and I'm going to put the camera down so I can loosen it up make sure ratchet's on loosening give it a couple cranks should come right out alright and that's out so you can put that to the side. This whole thing is now loose, so you can remove the spring. All right, so the easiest way to do this, put this camera down. I like to put my foot on the rotor and then pull this as I press down with my foot. Just like that. And then the spring's out, pretty simple. So to remove the rest of the of the nuts for the rear shock, you have to go in your trunk. This panel or this cover, you have to rip out of the way. And when you rip that out of the way, and you look in there, you have the top mounts for your shock right now also. It's a good time to look if you have any cracks or if your shock mounts are starting to break because that is a common problem on these cars. In my case, I'm actually going to reuse the stock shocks with the, with the Raceline lowering springs. The reason for this is because I have Bilsteins in the back, so I hope that maybe it'll ride a little bit better than the terrible Racelands probably would. So, to remove this or to install new ones, you have one right here, one right there and the whole thing should drop. I'm just gonna reuse this for now. Now it's time to put the spring in. So make sure you have the adjuster set at the height you want. Mine's gonna be pretty low. Have it on the top of the spring. And I like to leave one of the pads. I was going to put the second sound dampener on, but it doesn't really fit on top of the adjuster. So I'm just gonna leave it out. Hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. So to put this in, it's kind of the same procedure. You stick the spring on, and then you just push it. Push this down, 
a little bit. And there you go. The spring is in. You have to put the bolt in on the bottom of the shock. Get under there. Line this up. Lift up the hub a little bit. All there is to it. Now what you have to do, you mirror this on the other side, which I actually did already, and you have successfully installed coilovers on the back. Compared to the front, the back is very easy. Back should take probably 15 minutes aside at most. The hardest part is probably taking out the interior trim to get to the top of the shock mounts. Alright, so now let me get the wheels on and let's see how low this thing is. All right, I got the wheels on, both sides. Now it's the moment of truth. Can I get the jack out? Now lower it slowly. There we go. See how it's sitting? A little lower. I think I have to let off the parking brake. See how much lower it goes when I roll it around. Drop the parking brake. There we go. Roll it back a little bit. Alright, let's see how it looks now. Hey, that fell off. A little lower. I think I had to raise it back up and adjust it. Yeah, it's a little high for my liking. Alright, so I adjusted the coils in the back. Let's try this again. Drop the parking brake. Hopefully it sits a little lower this time. Alright, let it roll. That's better. It's okay. It's not the best. Hopefully it'll settle a little bit. Probably would have been a little bit lower if I used the Raceland shocks, but Hopefully this will ride a little bit better. So there you go. That is how you install coilovers on a BMW E36. So one last thing. Here's the car on the road. Pretty low. The back, just how I want it. The front, I think can be a little bit higher. A little low for my taste, but we'll see. Might have to raise up the back as well. Here it is in all its ugly glory. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.